Hello friends, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss about DVB technologies and this is the weekly chart as you can see, a downtrending chart and it has been falling down after breaking level after levels. So this was your first support level or the trend above which the stock was trading and as you can see after that it falls down at this level okay then it has again falls down below the level then you have simultaneously lots of level has broken one after another and finally here you have so yeah Here you have and finally this is the support at which it is trying to bounce back or above which it is trying to bounce back. So these are the things that one need to understand and check here. Okay. Now we will start from the current level as you can see first you have your big support at 1.34 so if the stock falls below 1.34 then one should not carry any positions but if you are looking at this chart okay although we don't know how low it could go if it falls below 1.34 that's why it is advisable or suggestible not to you know increase your risk if you are unable to understand that you can simply post or uh, put your stop loss at the at a particular level below which one should not carry any positions okay so this is the risk part which is the important and it is primary to discuss about that now on the upside if you are looking at the <coughs> previous trend you can see that the stock in some times move uh, very uh, very fast and the swing is very sharp okay so the volatility increased time after time so looking at that condition it is quite possible that as you can see here it may look small but here okay so if you look at the current movement so the stock went up by 94 percent although it has fallen down to 30 percent but it actually went up by 94 percent in a single session so this kind of volatility will persist and probably we are going to see this kind of things and if this thing happened in short term or in couple of trading session obviously it pushed the stock a lot lot higher than its current level keeping your stop loss intact and should not go below that level okay so you have your first target or resistance at two dollars above which you have 3.66 then you have uh, 6.84 further you have ten dollars then you have thirteen dollars you have seventeen dollars twenty two dollars on the upside you have thirty three dollars okay and your big support a uh, big resistance or target will come at forty six dollars these are the level which one should look at but uh, this is not like i just made all the levels it means that it will it's going to go towards forty uh, so the next target is directly $46 and uh, there are lots of level that stock need to cross for that firstly and secondly it is not like it will uh, go directly to that level as you can see there are lots of uh, resistance level in the way and we cannot fix any trend that uh, the stock is bound to go at that particular level okay so what we can do we will go one step after another and you just need to focus on this line as you can see the stock will definitely face a resistance at uh, 
6.4 then probably in between 8 and 10 dollars so that's the area if you are think if you are even looking at a big level so this is the area where the stock could face a big support and we will take the trend accordingly but as i told you about all the support and resistance level so use that and go one step after another but yes if you are keeping your stop loss intact so there is a possibility or the probability is quite high that a bounce back could probably happen and if it moves it moves very sharp on the upside so this is the end of the video if you like this content do share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe my channel lastly take care of your family and friends